When a manager logs into the Repsley back office, they will see a map with pins on it showing them where their field reps have been active. The pins are placed based on the GPS data of the rep's mobile devices, and each pin represents one activity completed by a rep in the field. Managers can click on any pin to get an overview of what kind of activity it was, which rep completed it, and which client it was completed for. Managers can then click on the activity icon to pull up the full details of that activity. Each activity on the map will also have a corresponding entry in the activity stream below, which is a chronological list of everything reps have done in the field. The activity stream entries can also be clicked to see the full details of any individual activity. By default, the activities displayed on this map screen will be only for the current day, but managers can also access the full history of their Repsley account at any time. Above the map are a start and end date field, which can be manually changed to set a specific date range. Managers can also click the drop-down arrow next to these fields to see a list of predetermined time periods – this week, this month, last week, last month, etc. When one of these is chosen, the map and the activity stream both switch automatically to display the activities for the newly selected time frame. If the number of activities is too large to show them individually, the pins will cluster together by region, and any cluster can be clicked on to break it apart and see the pins for each activity in that area. In addition to changing the dates, managers have some other back office filter options to let them zoom in on specific data. Next to the date fields to the left is a drop-down menu reading all field activities. Click on this to see a list of each individual type of activity reps can perform in the Repsley mobile app. You can then set any activity type as a filter, and the map and activity stream will show only activities of the selected type. Managers can also filter by individual reps and or clients by clicking the Add More Filters option to the right of the date fields. This includes a drop-down list of all of your reps, any one of whom can be set as a filter so that the map and activity stream show only activities submitted by that rep. The Add More Filters section also has a text box where you can type the name of any client and then set that client as a filter as well, so the only activities displayed will be those for that client. The final filter option for the main back office map screen is to filter by territories. If you have territories set up in your account, the territories list can also be found under the Add More Filters section, and any territory can be set as a filter so that all of the activities seen are those completed by reps and or for clients who are in that territory. The filters can all be used in combination with each other so managers can zoom in on whatever specific activities they need to see at any time. Any filters that have been set can be removed as well, so managers can also zoom back out to get a broader view of their reps' activities if desired. Repsly can also generate summary reports of activities completed over any period of time. If you have the activity filter set back to all field activities, you will see a summary report icon in the opposite corner above the map where it says View As. Click this icon to switch from the map view to the summary view, which shows you the total number of active reps, client visits, and activities completed during whatever date range you currently have set. The report will also display on a graph when your reps were most active and completed the most visits, and as you scroll down you will see a summary of what types of activities the reps have completed in the field. First, this will be organized by general activity type, showing the total number of forms, audits, purchase orders, and so on. Then it will be broken down more specifically to show what types of forms and or audits were filled out and the total sales made through purchase orders. As mentioned before, this summary report can be viewed for any time frame, and managers can change the date fields from within the summary view just like they can from the map view to see a report for a different time period. All of the other filter options from the map view can be applied to the summary view as well, allowing managers to get an overview of what's been done by individual reps, for specific clients or territories, or any combination of those things. These filters can be removed in the same way too. The summary view can be used to return to the map view with some filters already in place. If you click on any of the numbers next to each activity listed in the summary view, it will jump back to the map screen as if you'd already set that activity type as a filter, showing on the map and in the stream below only activities of the chosen type. Managers can also view a summary of how each of their reps is performing compared to the rest of the team. 
The Representatives tab in the back office will simply show a list of the reps by default. But if you click on the dropdown that says View as Plain List, you can select the Rankings view to see some KPIs for all of the reps. The Rankings view has its own date field, so you can see the reps' performances for any time period. Once you've set the dates, you'll see the total number of visits completed, clients visited, and how many of each type of activity the reps have completed for the selected time frame. You can then sort the list by any one of these metrics to see who has done the most or least visits, forms, sales, etc. for any period of time. Managers can see a full summary report for each individual rep from the Representatives tab as well. If you open any rep's profile, you can see that next to the Info tab is a tab titled Report. This brings up a screen similar to the summary report from the main map page, but only showing the activities of the specific rep. Like with the main summary view, you can set any date range for the rep summary, and you can also click on any of the numbers next to the activities to be brought back to the map screen as if you had already set that activity type and that individual rep as filters. Additionally, Repsly stores a permanent daily history of the rep's activities that the manager can see from the rep's profiles. Next to each rep's report tab is a history tab, which shows a day-by-day -day list of every day that the rep has logged any activities or visits in the field. The history tab shows only the total number of clients visited and activities completed, but just like with the summary view, managers can click on any of the activity icons to be brought back to the map screen with filters already in place, showing only that type of activity for that rep on that day. Every client on the clients list will also have a report tab and a history tab, which function the same way as the report and history tabs for the reps, showing only the activities associated with the specific client being viewed, and allowing managers to jump back to the map screen with filters already in place, based on what date range and activity type they select. This concludes our overview of interacting with field data in Repsley. Thanks for watching.